Hey everybody, it's Camera Tectania, and today we have a quick, actually not so quick, we have an in-depth video of Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0. I'm going to be going across a lot of the new features that we've learned about Ice Cream Sandwich in the past couple, uh, well, past 24 hours or so, a little bit longer than that now. Going through a lot of the new uh, ice cream sandwich features, some of the features that are more exclusive to the Nexus S, some of the stuff we don't know about, just a more just an ice cream sandwich overview. So we're going to the ice cream parlor, and I better wear a sweater because it's going to be cold. Um, I do not know what I'm doing with this joke. I know I don't normally know what I'm doing with jokes. Anyway, let's get back to the main topic at hand. So for the past a uh, couple months, more than a couple months, for the past, you know, good three, four months, all we've known about Ice Cream Sandwich is that wonderful Ice Cream Sandwich logo that, that was uh, unveiled at Google I.O. in June or July, and that's all we've known. We've been waiting to see what Ice Cream Sandwich would actually hold in store for a very long time now, so it has been a very long time coming. So, we can see that wonderful, yummy-looking Android ice cream sandwich. And now we can move into the first thing you're going to see when you pick up an ice cream sandwich device, which is the lock screen. So, here's the brand new lock screen. You can see for the first time this new Roboto font, which they have touted as a approachable yet very futuristic and just a very nice font so it's called Roboto and I have to say it does look very nice so uh, we can also see grab onto that lock thing there you are able to see you can go to the quick quickly go to the camera and you can also quickly go to unlock the device and a new feature that has been you know awaited by many people is the ability to look at your notifications on your lock screen this feature is disabled if you want more security but that is a very nice thing being able to just pull up your notifications right there on your lock screen another big thing that has been touted with the new lock screen is called face unlock which is a feature that allows you to just look at your phone it will recognize your face and unlock the device however this was showed off on stage at the Nexus Galaxy Nexus event yesterday and it did not work which is pretty pathetic that it just went up on stage and it just completely failed so a little bit of a gimmick right now but I'm sure they'll improve that in the future so after you unlock your device you are greeted with the new home screen which is quite redesigned as you can see they've gotten rid of the uh, previous sort of like three phone browser and like one button at the bottom and they've just rechanged the whole thing so now you have the launcher in the middle as normal but you can now customize up to four other icons or folders on the bottom dock there and you can see in this picture there is the phone icon the new people application there is a folder and there's the web browser so pretty nice looking just set up down there Another thing that Ice Cream Sandwich brings is the new on-screen buttons. So no longer do you have touch buttons on your Android phone or hardware buttons on the Android phone. They are now always on the screen and ready to be touched. So they're, that's like a whole new idea for Android devices. If you can see, the search button has been removed. So there used to be a search button on Android devices at the bottom, and that has now been removed. But a new feature that has been added is at the top, you can see there is now a search box right at the very top that is persistent no matter what. So that search box you see <coughs> is not an added widget, but is a persistent thing across all the home screens. Boom. You can also see they've gone with a new blue theme for Ice Cream Sandwich. And you can see like the little battery indicator up there is all in blue and everything does look very nice. They have some new live wallpapers, which are not live right now, but some very cool looking new live wallpapers. Uh, so, uh, they've made widgets resizable in Ice Cream Sandwich, which is a great feature that has been a thing that third party launchers have been, you know, letting you do for a very long time. So very nice to have that resizable widget feature, a feature that debuted in 3.1 of Honeycomb for tablets. So great to have that on here. I'm sure it will be very <clears throat> a very loved feature by users. If you open up the new launcher, they have changed stuff around quite a bit now. Instead of a vertical scrolling list with like a 3D sort of effect, which was always very cool, they've replaced that with a new side scrolling list. Uh, not list, side-scrolling grid of icons, 
and uh, it does look like it has a very cool animation when you flip from screen to screen, and it, it looks very functional. You also have a little Android uh, market button in the top corner, which is nice up there, and you can also see there are now two tabs, apps and widgets. So you are now able to scroll through your widgets at the top of the, um, on your launcher, and that is something that, you know, you may like, you may not, and then you can easily grab them and pull them onto your home screen, just like icons, so definitely nice feature there. Uh, we can go back to the home screen now, and a great new feature, if you've noticed, if you look at the bottom of the device, you see a home button, a back button, and you see a little sort of two square button. <clears throat> Ice Cream Sandwich has done away with the menu button in Android. So you're probably used to using a menu button on Android, you know, having to click a little menu button and have a little menu slide up. That's gone. They don't want that anymore. That preset menu button on the bottom is gone in Ice Cream Sandwich. I'm sure there are older apps that will still use it, but from now on, all the native apps, that's gone. Um, so, this new little button here, little two squares, brings up what they're calling the new task manager, new task launcher. And when you use this new task launcher, you can have as many apps as you want in here. You can swipe them off the side. They sort of just swipe away to the side. That does not actually remove them from your running apps. It just cleans up your little app switcher here. So Android does all the managing of the applications in the background. You don't need to worry about that. Swiping them off the side here just cleans it up a bit. You can see that the little um, square button, when it is pressed, it sort of highlights blue, and that also happens for the home and back button. So when you press them, they kind of just expanding a little bit like highlighted blue, and that is a very nice little touch. So this is a launcher that has come over from Honeycomb, and is a very nice feature that they have finally given Android a better launcher because Android, not launcher, switcher, because Android since version 1.0 has had the same app switcher. All you do is hold down the, uh, in, the, in the like very first version of Android all the way till you know, Gingerbread, you'd hold down the home button and pull up a little like square and you'd be able to navigate between your six most recent apps. So it's very nice to see a more modern launcher in here that is very well executed as it looks. So if we move on from, those are like the real interface overhauls we can move on to some of the new features they've added and some of the application improvements they've added. Android has added a new ability for you to be able to um, voice, to, voice to text, but instead of just you know holding it down and talking, you are now able to hold down the listening button and talk, and as you are talking, it will take that data, shoot it up to the cloud, and bring it back. So instead of having to just talk, wait, and pull it up, you can have the data and the text be converted live. So live voice conversion, a very cool new feature, if I don't say so myself. And that is something that does, you know, compete definitely with Surrey. Not really with Surrey's, you know, AI features, but definitely with Surrey's dictation, as Surrey's dictation is not live. Okay, so they've also added a new people app. They replaced the contact application with this whole new app that is much like the Windows Phone People's Hub where you're able to navigate through different people and see lots of info about them. And you're also able to like swipe and see their social feeds. So a very cool new people app there. Also a new Gmail application which has these new things called chips which are like little um, sort of boxes that allow you to like start typing somebody's name and you can like pull up the email and switch emails very easily and it's just you can just tap on that to pull put in their email and just communicate with that person new camera application that now includes panoramic mode you know it's more of a cleaned up interface and supports time lapse and videos and some other very cool new features in the camera app if you have been somebody who has wanted to be able to take native screenshots on Android for a long time, your day has finally come. You can now press the power button and the volume down button and hold it for about a second and a half, and bam, you have a screenshot. If you, you know, probably don't do this very often, but I, whenever I want to, like, you know, do like take screenshots of a phone, this is something that is very, very good for blogger peoples. So, screenshots built in, finally. App iOS has had this forever. They've also improved the browser on this device. So there's a new request desktop site option, which is really nice because a lot of the time when you want to go to the desktop version, you have to like go searching on the site for, you know, a special little like link at the bottom of the page. And this special built-in request desktop site version is a very nice feature. 
They've also included a new tabbed browsing system, which works much like their multitasking system, where you're able to swipe pages off, have up to 16 tabs right there, ready to go. So these are some of the big new features in Ice Cream Sandwich. There are lots more features in Ice Cream Sandwich, and <clears throat> there's just so much to talk about. And I will definitely be doing <coughs> a hands-on with Ice Cream Sandwich when I pick myself up a Nexus Prime. And I should be doing that as soon as they are available because I will definitely be grabbing one of these phones. They do look very, very cool. Um, anything else? Yes. A couple more things I just want to go over quickly. Uh, they've included a new Photos application, which is very cool looking, considering even the old Photos app was very cool, but that was way back from the Nexus One days. It has these big, you know, photos that are just there. There's no borders. It's just, it's just like a big picture. So very cool new Photos app. They've also included a very cool new feature. Well, not cool, but useful new feature called data usage, where you're able to track your monthly data amount and put in how much data you have and, you know, say what, you know, plans you have and, like, when it should cut you off and <clears throat> limit background use of data, all sorts of stuff. So if you are on a tiered plan, I'm sure this will help you out quite a bit. I am on a tiered plan of 6 gigabytes. Very hard to get in Canada. 6 gigabyte plan is, I'm very lucky to have that. But there are um, lots of cool features with this new data usage monitor. So that's one of the other cool new features. Um, there's also photo editing now. You can edit your photos on the fly with a bunch of new cropping, red eye, face glow. Lots of new photo editing. You can now, when you're getting a call from somebody, you can, instead of declining the call, you can now swipe up to send them a text reply, which can be a preset, you know, pre can text reply. That's a pretty nice feature. And one thing I totally forgot, which is a big feature, is Beam, Android Beam. So an NFC, this works a lot like Bump, if you've ever heard of Bump, where you bump two devices together and it can share contact info. Well, if this is an NFC device, which basically means only the Nexus S and the Nexus Prime, and if it's running this new version of Android X Ice Cream Sandwich, you can take the backs of the phones, touch them together, and your application will kind of zoom into this little square and there's all these stars floating around in the background and you can just touch on the app and it will immediately shoot that to the other device. So if it's a web link, it will shoot it over. If it's a application, it will shoot it into the Android market for them to purchase it. If it's a picture, it will shoot it. There's all sorts of different things. But there's lots of new features with this NFC Android Beam and they have opened up APIs for the developers so they can completely tap in and include lots of awesome features. Sorry this video is ran a little bit long. I wanted to include lots and like just go over all the new ice cream sandwich features that I features that I could. There's obviously lots more to go over, but these are the big ones. I'll possibly have more videos coming of ice cream sandwich. My pre-3 review is coming soon. I'm also going to have just more videos, so stay tuned to Tectanian.net and Tectanian, my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you liked this video and if you want more from me. You can like it. If you really like it, you can favorite it. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think of the new Android Nexus Prime features, you know, do you like the new ice cream sandwich, or is there something you're, you know, you're missing, are you mad that they've copied some features from Windows Phone, or that they're, you know, just put it all down there, it's a big conversation, and I will definitely reply to you guys, I get so many comments on my videos now, it's hard for me to reply to them all, but I try to do it all within a day, that's my 24 hour time limit, uh, so I just reply to your questions, I'll talk to you guys, and it's a great time. So drop your comment down in the section below. We can chat about all sorts of stuff. Anyway, can't protect Tania. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye, bye, bye.